If I'm the people's champ, I don't need a trophy for championing people. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most emotional award show speeches. And love is 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 love cannot be killed or swept aside. For this list, we'll be looking at the most impactful and moving things celebrities have said after winning awards. Which speech brought a tear to your eye? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Ki Hui Kwan, 80th Golden Globe Awards I felt so very lucky to have been chosen. As I grew older, I started to wonder if that was it, if, if that was just luck. From the moment Kwan stepped on stage in tears, we knew we were goners. Ever the adorable gentleman, his acceptance speech for Best Supporting Actor in Everything Everywhere All at Once began with a nod to Steven Spielberg. Though his career had begun so strongly in Indiana Jones 2, as an adult, Kihoi Kwan had struggled to find work and for a time set aside his dreams of being an actor. Thankfully, more than 30 years later, two guys thought of me. They remembered that kid and they gave me an opportunity to try again. Though his speech makes it sound like the Daniels took a chance on bringing him on, it's not hyperbole to say Quan earns his win every moment he's on screen in Everything Everywhere all at once. Equal parts joyful, tearful, and wonderful, Quan's words touched our hearts. The one person that never stopped believing in me, my wife Echo, I love you with all my heart. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Oh, and if you haven't, watch the movie so you understand the googly eye on his lapel. It's very cute. Number 9. Halle Berry, 74th Academy Awards Halle Berry's 2002 Academy Award win was not only deeply touching, it was also historical. Please, little darling. Have you got a cigarette? Yeah. But it looked to me like you don't really need to be smoking. When she earned her Best Actress Oscar for Monsters Ball, she became the first black woman to ever emerge victorious in that category. A standing ovation and applause broke out, and her extremely moving words delivered through tears fully captivated the room and those watching at home. It was a powerful moment, and Barry used it to honor past and present actresses of color. As of 2022, she remains the only black actress to receive this distinction, making her speech more important than ever. Number 8. Michaela J. Rodriguez, 79th Golden Globe Awards You know how many times I've sat in these halls over the years, waiting in fear for a diagnosis? It never crossed my mind that a woman like me could have the answers, could be the one with the solution. The Hollywood Foreign Press Association faced major backlash due to the organization's lack of diversity. Therefore, the 79th Golden Globe ceremony was not televised. Instead, the outcomes were made public after a private event. One of the most thrilling parts of the night was Michaela J. Rodriguez's Best Actress in a Television Drama win for Pose. I can't have any more minutes with Pray. I'm so glad that I got to share these few minutes with you. No openly transgender actor or actress had ever won a Golden Globe before, and she celebrated by taking to Instagram to express her excitement. She acknowledged the historical victory by stating that the door was now open for others to pursue their dreams. We tried. And dream big until you try on. Although Rodriguez couldn't give a televised speech, Ryan Murphy paused his Carol Burnett Award acceptance the following year to give her the standing ovation she so deserved. Number 7. Ariel Stachel, 72nd Tony Awards I have avoided so many events with them because for so many years of my life I pretended that I was not a Middle Eastern person. And after 9-11 it was very, very difficult for me. And so I concealed and I missed so many special events with them. In 2018, actor Ariel Stachel received his first Tony for his role as Khaled in the musical The Band's Visit. Taking the stage to accept the Best Featured Actor in a Musical Award, he used the platform to shed some light on the challenges of being Middle Eastern in the United States. He referenced the hardships he faced growing up, honored Middle Eastern youth, and spoke about how important representation is. I am part of a cast of actors who never believed that they'd be able to portray their own races, and we are doing that. 
And not only that, we're getting messages from kids all over the Middle East thanking us and telling us how transformative our representation is for them. His parents were also in attendance, which took the already moving experience to new heights. Years later, Stachel's speech is still just as impactful. I want any kid who's watching to know that your biggest obstacle may turn into your purpose. Thank you very much. Number six, Glenn Weiss, 70th Primetime Emmy Awards. While most award winners just used their stage time to give thanks, Glenn Weiss did something truly unique. I'm really grateful to be here, uh, but it's bittersweet. Uh, the person most proud at this moment would be my mom, and she passed away just two weeks ago. While accepting the Outstanding Directing for Variety Special Emmy, he proposed to his partner Jan Friedlander Svensson using his late mother's ring. Yep, that's right. Jan, you are the sunshine in my life. And mom was right, don't ever let go of your sunshine. You wonder why I don't like to call you my girlfriend? Because I want to call you my wife. <laughs> Celebs, including Leslie Jones and Benedict Cumberbatch, were both surprised and encouraging as they watched the heartwarming affair unfold. Jan, I want to put this ring that my mom wore on your finger in front of all these people and in front of my mom and your parents watching from above. Will you marry me? Svensson said yes, which, as you can imagine, earned the couple a big round of applause and cemented this as one of the Emmy's most unforgettable moments to date. Number five, Selma Blair, 48th People's Choice Awards. Oh my gosh, the last time I won an award was when I kissed you, Sarah. Good luck charm, for sure. During the People's Choice Awards in 2022, Selma Blair was honored for her work on the 31st season of Dancing with the Stars. The legally blonde actress, who lives with multiple sclerosis, gave a lovely speech, discussing how much the moment meant to her and thanking her loved ones. Thank you to Sarah for being here for everything that means something to me. This is kind of a, a huge deal for me. I've been in this town a long time and... She notably shouted out her friend and presenter Sarah Michelle Geller and her DWTS partner Sasha Farber. I, I can't believe the people gave me something after giving me so much the last few years of learning how to connect and to feel supported by people and it means so much and thank you of course to Sasha for being my partner in this and finding a way to help me move better. Blair had to end her stellar run on the dance competition series earlier than expected due to her medical condition. However, her speech proved that she's stronger than ever, and it was nothing short of inspiring to see her be recognized for what she accomplished. So always love to the people that love me, even if it's um, my son's grandmother calling every 10 minutes, I don't know. But thank you, thank you, thank you, and love, and I love you so much, Sarah. Number four, Lin-Manuel Miranda, 70th Tony Awards. I'm not freestyling, I'm too old. Uh, I wrote you a sonnet instead. The 2016 Tony Awards fell on the same day as the horrific Pulse nightclub attack in Orlando, which targeted members of the LGBTQIA community. The weight of the tragedy could be felt at the ceremony, which honored the victims. When Hamilton creator Lin-Manuel Miranda won for crafting the musical score, he read a pre-written sonnet which called attention to the senseless act of violence. When senseless acts of tragedy remind us that nothing here is promised, not one day. The show is proof that history remembers. We live through times when hate and fear seem stronger. We rise and fall and light from dying embers, remembrances that hope and love last longer. He reminded the audience that love, in all its forms, is everlasting and enduring through a simple but impactful quote that continues to touch hearts. It was hard not to get choked up listening to him then, and hearing the speech has that same effect on us today. I sing Vanessa's symphony, Eliza tells her story. Now fill the world with music, love, and pride. Thank you so much for this. Number three, Viola Davis, 67th Primetime Emmy Awards. Not only is Viola Davis an excellent actress, she's also really great at giving speeches. One of her most memorable ones came when she earned an Emmy for her role as Annalise Keating on How to Get Away with Murder. See green fields and lovely flowers and beautiful white women with their arms stretched out to me over that line. She started by quoting Harriet Tubman and proceeded to speak about the importance of there being roles for women of color in Hollywood. The only thing that separates women of color from anyone else 
is opportunity. She then listed off the names of fellow black artists who have helped break barriers and create opportunities. Ben Sherwood, Paul Lee, Peter Nowak, <laughs> Shonda Rhimes, people who have redefined what it means to be beautiful, to be sexy, to be a leading woman, to be black. It was a fitting tribute since Davis was the first black woman to be awarded the Emmy for lead actress in a drama series. To say her speech was deeply stirring would be an understatement. Thank you for taking us over that line. Thank you for the Television Academy. Number two, Taylor Simone Ledward, 78th Golden Globe Awards. The world was shaken by the news of Chadwick Boseman's untimely passing in 2020. As fans grieved the Black Panther actor, his work continued to inspire. Life ain't sh you can put it in a paper bag and carry it around with you. He ain't got no balls. Now death, death got some style. Death will kick your ass and make you wish you'd never been born. That's how bad death is, but you can rule over life. Life ain't nothing. At the 2021 Golden Globes, he was nominated for his role in the film Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. When he was named as the winner of Best Actor in a Motion Picture Drama, his wife, Taylor Simone Ledward, who was attending virtually, spoke in his place. He would thank God. He would thank his parents. He would thank his ancestors for their guidance and their sacrifices. It was an emotionally heavy and bittersweet speech as she named everyone Bozeman would have thanked if he had been there. He would say something beautiful something inspiring, something that would amplify that little voice inside of all of us that tells you you can, that tells you to keep going. She captured her late husband's essence throughout, tugging on the heartstrings of all those watching. And hun, you keep them coming. Thank you. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Lizzo, 48th People's Choice Awards. The singer put a spotlight on activists making major changes in the world. Give them their flowers! Power will always be to the people! Kristen Chenoweth, 61st Primetime Emmy Awards. What is this feeling? Chenoweth got all kinds of emotional during her big speech. I'd like to thank my parents. I'd like to thank Ryan Fuller for trusting me. <laughs> to create this part. I don't know why. <laughs> Henry Winkler, 70th Primetime Emmy Awards. Winkler finally took home Primetime Emmy gold, and his speech was worth waiting for. Can I just say, Skip Brittenham said to me a long time ago, if you stay at the table long enough, the chips come to you, and tonight, I got to clear the table. Lena Waithe, 69th Primetime Emmy Awards. Waithe won for comedy writing, but delivered a speech that made us cry. The things that make us different. Those are our superpowers. Every day when you walk out the door, put on your imaginary cape and go out there and conquer the world because the world would not be as beautiful as it is if we weren't in it. Nicole Kidman, 75th Golden Globe Awards. Kidman movingly honored loved ones and advocated for an important cause. And my mama. My mama was an advocate for the women's movement when I was growing up. And because of her, I'm standing here. My achievements are her achievements. Antonia Kidman, my sister, and I say thank you, Janelle Kidman, for what you fought for so hard. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Hattie McDaniel, 12th Academy Awards. In 1940, actress Hattie McDaniel won an Oscar. If you don't care what folks says about this family, I do. I have told you and told you that you can always tell a lady but the way that she eats in front of folks like a bird. And I ain't aiming for you to go to Mr. John Wilkinson's and eat like a field hand and gobble like a hog. She was the first black person to ever achieve this feat, taking home the Best Supporting Actress prize for her work in Gone with the Wind. This marked a celebratory moment, but also one that held a mirror up to Hollywood. During her affecting speech, McDaniel tearfully called the win one of the, quote, happiest moments of her life, and described her heart as being extremely full. And then this evening, Miss Collins, she shouted to the door, and she said, if you don't set for tomorrow morning, and he says, you try that, and I killed you tomorrow. Do you think I'm going to put my child in the, in the dark when she's so scared of it? She didn't speak for very long, but each word was powerful and deeply meaningful. 
It all carries an extra weight when you consider the barriers she faced at the ceremony, like being seated at a segregated table. Well, I don't think it's fitting, but <laughs> it ain't fitting, it just ain't fitting. Needless to say, her win and speech remain defining parts of history. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.